Hi, I'm Christine Johnson. I'd like to welcome you to my channel. I'm so glad you could join me again. Today, we're going to continue with my mini series number five, and it is entitled Whisper the Dog. It's a story about a little dog that came into my life once upon a time, and he soon went away. And I'm going to share with you what happened. I, I like to tell my stories and just tell them, but sometimes depending on which story it is and how many years ago it's been, I've already written it down. So I'd like to be able to cover the details. So in order to not leave any out, I've chosen to read some of them. So this particular one is entitled Whisper the Dog. And are you ready? It all began one day when I was standing outside of my house in my flower garden. I saw the most precious little puppy. He came in through the gate and he, however, he wasn't invited. He just came right on in and he came through my gate as if he was coming into his own house from a long trip. <laughs> and the same cute little pu puppy came over to me and stood directly in front of me and he just sat there and he stared at me and I watched the expression on his face and I looked up in those big, brown, beautiful eyes and it, it appeared as though he had a smile on his face. What an amazing surprise, <laughs> I thought to myself. I was thinking, what should I do next? When suddenly he made his way past my legs and went directly into the backyard. And as I arrived in my backyard, which I followed him to see where he was going, I found the little puppy lying directly on a, on a great big patch of fresh, green, cool grass. And he was just laying there with his head down and relaxing. And um, I said to myself, he's so beautiful. He was such a pretty little thing. He was just beautiful. And I said, I wonder if he belongs to anyone. And as I looked closer at the cute little puppy, I noticed that he, he looked like he was a little sick. So I waited for my husband to return from the store. And when he came, we decided we'd take him inside of the house. So, but as soon as my husband laid eyes on him too, he, he loved him just as much as I did. So we decided to name the beautiful little creature Whisper. <laughs> Whisper had only been with us for about three days when we noticed that his sickness was getting worse. So I said to my husband, honey, I'm going to pray for Whisper. And then I quoted uh, the scripture, St. Mark, the 16th chapter, verses 15 through 18. And I gave special emphasis on verse 18, which says in part, and they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And my husband looked at me strangely and he said, you're going to pray for the dog? He started laughing. He says, you're kidding. And I said, of course. See, my husband wasn't a very God-fearing man at the particular time. So I called Whisper and I laid hands on him. And I actually told him what our Heavenly Father said concerning uh, healing of the sick. And I reminded Whisper that the Lord said every creature. As I stood there preaching to Whisper, he watched me attentively and looked so very sick. And moments after the prayer, though, Whisper began to wag his tail and he began to bark. And I would like to think that he was praising God. I believe he was praising God because he was fully recovered. Whisper was no longer sick and he looked so much more beautiful and healthier. So my husband and I decided to take him on the trip, on a trip on the road. So we took him on a road trip and uh, we had a great time. It was a snowstorm at the time and Whisper didn't necessarily like to get out in the snow. So it was very hard to get him out of the car. But once he got out of the car, it was very hard to get him back in. So uh, we journeyed on our trip and we stopped at a whole lot of rest stations and stuff. And on our way back home, it, uh, in the snow, as I said before, uh, to our surprise, uh, Whisper really loved the snow instead of hating it. So he was hard to get back into the car. So my husband always said, well, you know, dogs are like people. <laughs> they, 
they do understand and they do communicate as well as people do. So he has always developed a relationship where he had continual conversations with our 10 dogs. <laughs> and so when we, after coming back from our trip, when we arrived home that very same day, I was standing in the garden outside of my house and I noticed that Whisper was watching me closely. However, he was in the backyard and he was watching me. And then he, I, I thought of the time that he arrived sick and how I had prayed for him and how beautiful he was looking. But it was so wonderful to watch the word of God being fulfilled, even in Whisper's life. As I watered my flowers manually, Whisper walked up to me and looked into my eyes. He had a look that I'll never forget. The look said, thank you. <laughs> I stood there am amazed at what I was seeing. I was frozen in my tracks as I watched Whisper leave my yard as smoothly as he had arrived. Somehow I knew that Whisper's arrival at my home, sick was a divine appointment. The whole circumstance surrounding him was just too obvious. As I recap everything that I have experienced since Whisper first arrived, uh, it, it all indicated that he simply needed healing. I too needed healing during that particular season, a special healing. And my faith was tested on a dog a dog that I didn't even know that came to my house. And of course, the Lord loves his animals. They are his creation. Whisper the dog, I'll never forget him, a beautiful little creature. He came into our lives, divinely appointed, received his healing, and then went on a trip, a road trip with us, and then was on his merry way. And I did see him again, Later on, he was in the neighborhood. He was with other dogs and they were having fun and he looked like he was happy. I don't know if he had found another home or what, but he did acknowledge me. He looked at me and he smiled and he wagged his tail. But to God be the glory for all the great things that he has done. He is our healer and he's a healer of the whole entire creation. The Bible says that the whole creation groaneth for the Lord to deliver this whole world and to set everything in order. Thank you so much for joining me. Please join me again for another series, mini series, M-I-N-I, series number six. Thank you. God bless you and I'll see you again next time. This is Christine Johnson. Thank you again for joining me.